War Diary Day 626 of Russia's War Against Ukraine. There's an interesting article in The Guardian uh, today which um, sets out, perhaps gives better context for what Zelushny said about stalemate in The Economist the other day. What he was saying is, please, the West, come up with some technological solutions to the war because otherwise it's going to be a stalemate. He's not, he's not hoping for a stalemate. He doesn't want a stalemate. But he wants the West to, to get it, that there is going to be a stalemate unless something radical changes. And there is a feeling here, certainly, and I heard this again and again from the soldiers on the front line, that this isn't going to be a short war. And there's a clever uh, line from Tim Snyder, the great historian of Ukraine. Um, and he says, the culture wants a fast and interesting war. The problem is wars can turn out to be long and boring. And I think this is what's happening here as well. Owen Matthews has written this wonderful book you should read. It's called Overreach. And uh, in it, or well, to my friend Arthur Snell on a podcast the other day, Owen set out the three conditions for the fall of the Tsar. The first is that the government is ceasing to function. The second, the economy is ceasing to function. The third, that there is somebody else a new czar who is alive and kicking. And none of those three um, things currently apply in Russia. The economy is in a mess, but it's still working, more or less. Sanctions aren't cutting into Putin's control on power effectively. Number two, the, the government is, is functioning, more or less. And number three, there is no alternative to the Tsar because they've all been killed. So, folks, we're in for the long haul. Love from Keith. Oh, and Vladimir Putin. Do fuck off. <laughs>